Alright, so here's the deal. I might go off on a tangent here and go a shortcut method to getting these stats up. So you know how mining and smithing already got like reworked and whatnot? So with that came the spirits, okay? So the, what the spirits are is whenever you do mine one ore, the spirit will uh, reduce itself by one. So it's all stackable, right? So instead of 100 spirits, you now have 99 because you mined two ores. You mine one ore f from yourself, then the spirit counts as one ore as well. Alright, so that's essentially what it means. So that's actually a way how you can, um, I think it's double your experience to an extent whenever you mine one ore. So I want to do that so I can craft my own mithril swords. Because I want you to look at this. Mithril dagger. That shit's 7,000 gold. You know, I don't even, I mean, I think it'll buy. It should buy. It bought for a medium. That's too much money for what I have right now. So I am actually very sad that I just bought that because, yeah. But anyways, so I need to go do TGV, the gnome village, and then I need to do a monkey madness as well for the dragon scimitars. Um, but you know, the spirits weren't in RS2, and neither has this mining and smithing rework. <laughs> I'm at, I'm kind of at a, uh, I'm not at a loss, but I'm like stuck between a rock and a hard place, so, um, I don't know, you know what, I think I will. I want to just try and get this footage out, and, yeah, Iron Man is going to suck for you guys, but for me, I can buy it through the GE, and you know, it's part of the game, I'm going to use it. Look at the fucking price of iron, though. Like, come on now. Oh, I didn't even buy. Oh my god. Oh shit. All right. Well, because of the mining and smithing rework, actually, let me get back into legacy. I mean, um, ability bar. I might actually just swap into legacy. I want to see how it works. Okay. I haven't. It, it's been a while since I've done legacy, but like actual legacy against monsters that aren't one hit is what I'm trying to say. But for right now, I'm going- where the fuck is the furnace? I'm gonna make a, an ore box, and that goes hand in hand with the mining and smithing, so don't worry. Okay, mining and smithing, here we go. We're gonna- actually, where the fuck is the furnace? Wait, I can't use this. Are you shitting me, bro? I actually- wait, since when did- wait, what? I was able to use this on my alt, are you shitting me? On my Iron Man that has not touched the Edgerill furnace. Okay, okay. Whatever, I'll go to, uh... Lumbridge and use the furnace there. Alright, so I'm just gonna put that there and then I'm gonna put this one right here as well. Just for faster transport. Tation. Legacy reminds me of RS3 though. I use Legacy on one of my alts. And I'm gonna show you guys how mining and smithing works. So right now we're gonna make the bronze ore box. So we make it, we begin the project. Once I finish this, I can transform this one into a um Oh my god, this is gonna be atrocious. I can transform- Oh my god, I can't transform it! I don't have 15 smithing- smithing- smith- smith- smithing. And I can't make the iron pickaxe either. Holy shit, I'm an idiot. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go do Night's Sword then. It's hard because I'm playing in like four accounts right now. Right? I can't make this because I need 10 smithing. Could I- could I potentially just get it right now? Th through the brokenness of the game? Why did I do this? There we go. Medium hydro lamps. Large. Yo, this is fucking insane. Oh my god, this is too, 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 too OP. These actually give me the best boots. Let me show you. Best boots in the slot right now. Because of how the boots have changed. Let me show you in the admins. They give you free boots. And these boots are very OP. Look at that. They give you good stats. When it says armor, that's just armor, okay? But you can change the level of it depending on your defense. So unfortunately, I don't have 20 defense. Oh my god, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, I can't wear it. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> right, but you can charge them with this. And now they're charged. Oh shit. You know what? Combat, combat. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, well anyways, I said I'm sorry because these boots give you agility experience whenever you just walk or run. Alright, you see the particles on the on the floor? It's gonna give me a little bit, like, a 50 experience or some shit from the Silverhawk thingies. But anyways, let's go do my quest. 
Alright, this is about to be Dwarf Cannon. Good, good, good progress. So Cannon, actually, believe it or not, I got it on my Iron Man, and it was pretty depressing. <laughs> let me just say that much, okay? So what happened was that when I put the cannon down, I was at Hellhounds, right? Right? In the Taverly Dungeon. And the ones on the edge de-aggroed. Well, when I wasn't personally aggroing, and my cannon was aggroing them, they regen their HP and retreated. You know, it's it's just that awful. So cannon is not the greatest, however, quest points and keys definitely are. So we completed two of them. I got more fucking spring. I'm tired of the spring. Get the shit out. Alright, uh, instead of spring, I want a lamp. And it's... Instead of the logs, I'll take note, play, note paper, and um, I'll, there we go. Ooh, what could I use that for, I wonder? Oh shit, my step, oh magic, yo. I'm just gonna catapult all the way into magic land. Honestly, I don't think I should. I think I'm just gonna keep going, keep on questing. I was actually gonna save all my lamps and shit for something else, but you know what? Just for the sake of, uh, this bullshit, I'm gonna do it my way. So, now that I have all this stuff done, I want to get 10 smithing. Or at least 10 smithing. And the way to do that is just by doing a knight sword. So, before I actually tackle knight sword, I'm gonna get myself an iron pickaxe, and I'm also gonna add some paper to the dudes, or to the thing over there. So I'm, I have 500. And I'm sure you get, yep, one per XP. So it's quite significant at the lower levels. More significant at the higher levels, but it's fine. Because I have GE, I'm going to also get myself an iron pickaxe. Now, believe it or not, these are extremely expensive. They barely sell. I don't mean I don't even know if anyone even sells these. Oh they do. Oh my god, dude. Oh it's the reason why they're just so extraordinarily expensive is because no one freaking uses it right and here's the deal they are in high demand because if you are trying to complete the blurite uh mining using a bronze it takes like seven years literally the bar above your head there are two bars one at 15 or well you unlock both of them at 15 but the one above you in the blue is the progress and it progresses incredibly slow let me just say that much all right um balador into uh Relado. Actually, let me get my uh no, no I don't need a okay yeah this is good this is good. Here's a tip for anyone who's doing or who 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 wants to know about Street of Arab, right? So essentially um you don't need a partner anymore. It's very quick and easy. Um do I have the runes? Yeah yeah. So you need to make your way into the hideout. Just talk to Straven, blah blah blah. Yeah yeah I know who you are, whatever what the fuck is that? I did not click that. Dude, open the door, you doofus. How? Why is it that obnoxious? This The only thing I don't like about the RS3 is just that the clicks need to be exactly precise. You have you see how everything's like highlighted? It's similar to League and it's similar somewhat to 07. And um it gets really fucking obnoxious. But yeah. Uh, what am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so you, you know, you talk to Straven, right? You do the whole killing the Johnny the Beard, whatever. Then you talk to the Tramp, maybe? I don't remember if you do or not. But then you do... You finish up the Straven part, and then you go into the other part. Which is in there. And that part's very easy as well. So you give me that shit. Bada bing, bada boom. Ah, uh, yes, here he goes. Yeah, so all it was just killing Johnny the Beard, right? It's, it's, it's so shorter. I love it. And then you just open the chest, right? And then you're done with this part. You have the first half. Then you go to Katrina. You ask for the XYZ ABC, the arm band bullshit, and then uh, you just go get the uh, the thing, right? So you don't need a teammate. Now, it's very short. It's like a three minute quest, literally. If you have all the perfect, you know, shits and whatnot, it um, becomes very, where the fuck am I? Very easy. Yeah, especially Surge. Boom! Yeah, so you do talk to the tramp. You offer him 10 bucks or whatever, 10 gold. Remember when we were all like really little and we played this game and then we um we uh we view one GP as one dollar and whatnot. It's it's pretty freaking funny. <laughs> all right, easy. Yep. So you get the two Phoenix things and then you just bring it over here. So instead of people doing their own part, right? We do it ourselves. 
The only thing I wish that RS3 had was the Chronica, so I could teleport to the um, Champions Guild. Instead of having to go through the Lodestone animation, like, you, you draw the circle, you teleport, then you spawn, then you can move. It's fucking awful, but regardless, I'm th still thankful for the Lodestones, but still, I really wish that it wasn't so like that. Alright, we should be done here. Alright, I think I am done. Nice. Easy. So, and this is Shield of Ravdon. Um, what else do I need? Done. Dun da 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 And, um... Oh, right, I was gonna do the, uh, the thing. Oh, man, what kind of shit is that? Oh, they dropped there, it's okay, whatever. Yeah, so now I can do, uh, finish up the, um, um, the fucking thing. Uh, I don't remember. Well, this guy's actually chopping my U in RS3, what do you... LCS? Anyways, yeah, so now I can finish up Knight's Sword. I... Did I get the painting? No, I did not. I have to talk to the dwarf, and then I need to go back, and then I gotta do X, Y, Z, A, B, C, and cry myself to sleep. Okay, sounds good. Believe it or not, the guy just gave me 1,200 coins, and we just got that shit done. Beautiful. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Now, we can teleport straight home to Fort Port Serum, do the quest, talk to the guy, give him the pie, you know, X, Y, Z, A, B, Y. Okay, yeah, so here is what I was talking about. So this is a smithing lamp, and you get it, and bam, an item smithing, beautiful. Okay, so now I can make my own material instead of having to get it all myself. I'm gonna use one hydro lamp on mining and smithing. And I got no, no XP. Okay, well, I'm gonna save that until I hit a different level. Oh, I got, whoa, sick. I can now... Minus yours, not gonna do that. Um, Dorix, yeah, bullshit. Times two. Level 30 is Mithril, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. That's one Mithril. Okay, so I need, I'm just gonna get some mining levels real quick. I need that ore box. Gonna go back to Lumbridge. Gonna make my box. And then I'll see you guys in a bit. There is some training in RS3, believe it or not. I'm pretty sure there's like 90% in all of it I want to avoid. I want to buy keys, but I can't. Because, uh, that's stupid. Nice. 20 mining. 10 more until I can mine Mithril, which is where I need. For my, oh, I need to mine Adamant, actually. Oh, that's gonna be quite a challenge. I'll be using my lamp soon. Just to help propel that into a motion, let's put it that way. Ooh, I am watching that Netflix Korean movie or episode, uh, series Sweet Home, and it is... Oh, emotionally scary, yet very much better than the American movies that we have. Anyways, I am currently 30 mining, and I'm very happy about that. Now I can move on to Mithril. Just to show you guys how uh, insane this GE is. So the original price of the Iron Pickaxe is 4k. And I bought the Mithril Pickaxe for 5k, which was just the regular medium price. But this thing... I bought it for 14k and it sold for 12k. And the original price of an iron pickaxe is 4.8k. See, the early material of this game, be a weapon or material, you know, uh, utility stuff, you know, gathering stuff, whatever, that stuff is expensive because it's on demand. No one uses it. Everyone's practically high level. 130, 100, 100, 130, 126. That guy probably didn't even know what summoning is, but you get the idea. It's insane. It's truly insane. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some, uh... I'm gonna make some of those iron pickaxes, and I wanna see how insane the money could be. I should have iron in my bank. Where the fuck is the bank at? Banker. Iron. Nice. Alright, so let's see. Oh, okay. Took me a while to, to smith all this shit, but... <coughs> okay, hang on. <coughs> Hold it. Oh, I fucking DC'd. 
I think I did see what the bug oh. oh Okay, I'm back. Let's teleport to the GE again. Well, I don't know what the fuck happened, but I just DC uh. Okay, so I'm gonna sell all these for at least 10k And we're gonna see how much we can make out of 10k What the fuck? I wanna sell Oh my god, I DC'd again! I think it's RS3, it's not my internet. 07's working. What the fuck? Oh my god. My clients! All of them! What the fuck? What the frick was that, dude? Wait, where's my backpack? What the fuck? Times two! Oh my god. They sold for more than 10k? <laughs> yes!